Welcome to the 21st day. The 21st day reading. Today is Friday, but I'm recording this for I'm recording this for Sunday. So it is likely that you're watching this on Sunday. We are reading from Leviticus chapter 26 to number chapter 3. Leviticus stops at, 20, at chapter 27. So without further ado, let's get into it. Chapter 26. You shall not make idols for yourselves. And please make sure to watch the other, the other episodes to know where we are continuing. To know exactly what led to this. Because if you just continue, to just start from here, it will, it will not kind of make sense. So, make sure to watch the others. The other episodes before this. Let's continue. You shall not make idols for yourselves. Neither a carved image nor a sacred pillar shall you rear up for yourselves. Nor shall you set up an engraved stone in your land to bow down to it. For I am the Lord your God. You shall keep my Sabbath and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. If you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and perform them, then I will give you rain in its season. The land shall yield its produce. And the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Your treasure shall last till the, the time on, of vintage, when the vintage shall last till the time of sowing. You shall eat your bread to the full and dwell in your land safely. I will give peace in the land, and you shall lie down, and none will make you afraid. I will rid the land of evil beasts, and the, and the sword will not go through your land. You will chase your enemies, and they shall fall by the sword before you. Five of you shall chase five of you shall chase a hundred and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight your enemies shall fall by the sword before you for i will look on you favorably and make you fruitful multiply you and confirm my covenant with you you shall eat the old harvest and clear out the old because of the new i will set my tabernacle among you and my soul shall not abhor you i will walk among you and be your god and you shall be my people. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, you, that, that you should not be their slaves. I have broken the bands of your yoke and made you walk upright. But if you do not obey me and do not observe all these commandments, and if you despise my statutes, or if your soul abhors my judgment, so that you do not perform all my commandments, but break my covenant, I also will do this to you. I will even appoint terror over you, wasting disease, and fever which shall consume the eyes and and cause sorrow of earth and you shall sow your seed in vain for your enemies shall eat it i will set my face against you and you shall be defeated by your enemies those who ate you shall reign over you and you shall flee when one pursues you and after all this if you do not obey me then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. I will break the pride of your power. I will make your heavens like iron and your earth like bronze, and your strength shall be spent in vain. For your land shall not yield its produce, nor shall the trees of the land yield their fruit. Then I will. Then if you walk contrary to me and are not willing to obey me, I will bring on you seven times more plague according to your sins. I will also add, I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children. Someone was at the door, disturbing my life. No, I don't know where I stopped. Okay. I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children, destroy your livestock, and make you few in number, and your highways shall be desolate. And if by these things you are not reformed by me, but walk contrary to me, then I also will walk contrary to you, and I will punish you yet seven times for your sins, and I will bring a sword against you that will, ex that will execute the vengeance of the covenant. When you are gathered together within your cities, I will send pestilence among you, and you will be delivered into the hand of the enemy. When I have cut off your supply of bread, Ten women, ten women shall break shall bake your bread in one oven, and they shall bring back your bread by weight. 
and you shall eat and not be satisfied. And after all this, if you do not obey me, but walk contrary to me, then I also will walk contrary to you in fury. And I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sins. You shall eat the flesh of your sons, and you shall eat the flesh of your daughters. I will destroy your high places, cut down your incense altars, and cast your carcasses on the lifeless forms of your idols. And my soul shall abhor you. I will lay your cities waste, and bring your sanctuaries to desolation. And I will smell, and I will not smell the fragrance of your sweet aromas. I will bring the land to desolation, and your enemies who dwell in it shall be astonished at it. I will scatter you among the nations and draw out a sword after you. Your land shall be desolate, and your cities waste. Then the land shall enjoy its Sabbath as long as it as long as it lies desolate and you are in your enemy's land. Then the land shall rest and enjoy its Sabbath. As long as it lies desolate, it shall rest. For the time it did not rest on your Sabbath, when you dwell in it. And as for those of you who are left, I will send faint, faintness into their heart, in the lands of their enemies. The sound of a shaking leaf shall cause them to flee. They shall flee as though fleeing, as though fleeing from a sword, and they shall fall when no one pursues. They shall stumble over one another, as it were before a sword, when no one pursues. And you shall have no power to stand before your enemies. You shall perish among the nations, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And those of you who are left shall waste away in their iniquity in your enemies' land, also in their father's iniquity, which are with them, they shall waste away. But if they confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their unfaithfulness, in which they were unfaithful to me, and that and that they also have worked contrary to me, and that I have also worked contrary to them, and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if they are uncircumcised at at humbled and they accept their gift, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob and my covenant with Isaac and my covenant with Abraham. I will remember. I will remember the land. The land also shall be left empty by them and will enjoy its Sabbath while its light eyes desolate without them. They will accept their gift because they despise my judgment and because their soul abhorred my statutes. Yet for all that, when they are in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away, nor shall I abhor them, to utterly destroy them and break my covenant with them. For I am the Lord their God, but for their sake I will remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt, in the sight of the nations, that I might be their God. I am the Lord. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between himself and the children of Israel on Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. Chapter 27 Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, When a man consecrates by a vow certain persons to the Lord, according to your valuation, if your valuation is of a male from twenty years old up to sixty years old, then your valuation shall be fifty shekels of silver, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. If it is a female, then your valuation shall be thirty shekels, and if from five years old up to twenty years old, then your valuation for a male for a male shall be twenty shekels, and for a female to ten shekels. And if from a month old up to five years old, then your valuation for a male shall be five shekels of silver, and for a female your valuation shall be three shekels of silver. And if from sixty years old and above, if it is a male, then your valuation shall be fifteen shekels, and for a female ten shekels. But if he is too poor to pay your valuation, then he shall present himself before the priest. And the priest shall set a value for him according to the ability of him who vowed. The priest shall value him. If it is an animal that men may bring as an offering to the Lord, all that anyone gives to the Lord shall be holy. He shall not substitute it or exchange it, good for bad or bad for good. And if at all exchanges and if he at all exchanges animal for animal, then both it and the one exchanged for it shall be holy. If it is an unclean animal which they do not offer as a sacrifice to the Lord, then he shall present the animal before the priest, and the priest shall set a value for it, whether it is good or bad. As you, the priest, value it, so it shall be. But if he wants, if he wants at all to redeem it, then he must add one fifth to your valuation. And when a man dedicates his house to be holy to the Lord, then the priest shall set a value for it, whether it is good or bad, as the priest values it. So it shall stand.
if he who dedicates it wants to redeem his house, then he must add one fifth of the money of the valuation to it, and it shall be his. If a man if a man dedicates to the Lord part of a field or his possession, then your valuation shall be according to the seed for it. A woman of barley, a woman of barley seed shall be valued at fifty shekels of silver. If he dedicates his field from the year of jubilee, according to your valuation, it shall stand. But if he dedicates his field after the jubilee, then the priest shall reckon to him the money due according to the years that remain to the year of jubilee, and shall be deducted from your valuation. And if he who dedicates the field ever wishes to redeem it, then he must add one fifth of the money of your valuation to it, and it shall belong to him. But if he does not want to redeem the field, or if he has sold the field to another man, it shall not be redeemed anymore. But the field, when it is released in the jubilee, shall be holy to the Lord. As a devoted field, it shall be the possession of the priest. If a man dedicates to the Lord a field which he has bought, which is not the field of his possession, then the priest shall return to him the worth of your valuation up, up to the year of jubilee, and he shall give your valuation on that day as a holy offering to the Lord. In the year of jubilee, the field shall return to him from whom it was bought. So the one who owned the land as a possession and all your valuations shall be shall be according to the shekel of the sanctuary, twenty geras to the shekel. But the firstborn of the Aima, which should be the Lord's firstborn, no man shall dedicate, whether it is an ox or sheep, it is the Lord. And if it is an unclean animal, then he shall redeem it according to your valuation, and shall add one fifth to it, or if it is not redeemed, then it shall be according to your valuation. Nevertheless, no devoted offering that a man may devote to the Lord of all that he has, both man and beast, all the field of his possession, shall be sold or redeemed. Every devoted offering is most holy to the Lord. No person under the, under the ban who may become doomed to destruction among men shall be redeemed, but shall surely be put to death on all the tithes of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the, land, of the tree. It is the Lord's. It is holy to the Lord. If a man wants at all to redeem any of his tithes, he shall add one fifth to it. And concerning the tithe of the earth or the flock of whatever passes under the rod, the tenth one shall be holy to the Lord. He shall not inquire whether it is good or bad, nor shall he exchange it. And if he exchanges it at all, then both it and the one exchanged for it shall be holy, and shall not be redeemed. They are these are the commandments which the Lord commanded Moses for the children of Bishop on Mount Sinai. And if I am too fast, I think there's like a like a playback button on YouTube that I can use to slow it down. Move it to Numbers chapter one. Now we finish Leviticus and Numbers chapter one. The first census of Israel. Now the Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai. Another long chapter <laughs> in the Tabernacle. 50, Fifty-four verses. Now the Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tabernacle of meeting, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they had come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel by their families, by their father's house, according to the numbers, according to the number of names, every male individually, from twenty years old and above, all who are able to go to war in Israel. You and Aaron shall number them by their armies, and with you there shall be a man from every tribe, each one the head of his father's house. These are the names of the men who shall stand with you. From Reuben, Eliezer, the son of Shedor, from Simeon. And please, you should follow along with your Bible because these names, these names are confusing. They are hard to spell because I, I, I don't know the way they are spelled. So, as to avoid any mistake, you can carry your Bible and read along and see as these names are written. Verse 6. From Simeon, Shelumiel, the son of Zuri Shaddai. From Judah, Nashon, the son of Amnadab. From Issachar, Nethanel, the son of Zohar. From Zebulon, Eliab, the son of Elon. From the sons of Joseph, from Ephraim, Elishama, the son of Amiud. From Manasseh, Gamaliel, the son of Pedas Zor. From Benjamin, Abidan, the son of Gideon. From Dan, Isaac. The son of Amin Amishada, from Asher, Pagel, the son of Okran, from Gad, Eliashav, the son of Duel, from Naphtali, Aira, 
the son of Enan. These were chosen from the congregation, leaders of your father's tribe, leaders of your father's tribes, heads of the divisions of, in Israel. Then Moses and Aaron took these men who had been mentioned by name, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they recited their ancestry by families, by their father's houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and above, each one individually, as the Lord commanded Moses. So he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai. Now the children of Reuben, Israel's oldest son, their genealogy by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of the names, every male individually, from twenty years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Reuben, were forty six thousand five hundred. <laughs> wow. From the children of Simeon, their, gen their genealogy is by their families, by their father's house, of those who were numbered, according to the number of names, every male individual from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Simeon, were 59,300. From the children of Gad, their genealogy is by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above. All who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of God, were 45,650. And these are the people who are able to go to war. Only the people who are able to go to, go to war. How about the people who are not able to go to war? The world people are never. These people are much. <sighs> From the children of Judah, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the numbers, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Judah were 74,600. From the children of Issachar, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Issachar were 54,400. From the children of Zebulun, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war. These, those who were numbered of the tribe of Zebulun were 57,400. From the sons of Joseph, the children of Abraham, their genealogies by their family, by their father's house, according to the number of names from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Ephraim were 40,000. Were 40, 500. From the children of Manasseh, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Manasseh were 32,200. From the children of Benjamin, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Benjamin were 35,400. From the children of Dan, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the children, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Dan, were 62,700. From the children of Asher, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were those who were numbered of the tribe of Asher were 41,500. From the children of Naphtali, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Naphtali were 53,400. These are the ones who were numbered, whom Moses and Aaron numbered with the leaders of Israel, 12 men, each one representing his father's house. So all who were numbered of the children of Israel by their father's house from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war in Israel, all who were numbered were 603,550. Were 603, but the Levites were not numbered and long among them by their father's tribe. For the Lord had spoken to Moses, saying, Not the tribe of Levi you shall not number, nor take a census of them among the children of Israel, but you shall appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of the testimony, over all its furnishing, and over all things that belong to it. They shall carry the tabernacle and all its furnishing. They shall attend to it and camp around the tabernacle. And when the 
tabernacle is to go forward, the Levites shall take it down. And when the tabernacle is to be set up, the Levites shall set it up. The outsider who comes near shall be put to death. The children of Israel shall pitch their tents, everyone by his own camp, everyone by his own standard, according to their armies. But the Levites shall camp around the tabernacle of the testimony, that there may be no rust on the congregation of the children of Israel. And the Levites shall keep charge of the tabernacle of the testimony. Thus the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. So they did. Chapter 2 And the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, Every one of the children of Israel shall camp by his own standard. Beside the emblem of his father's house, they shall camp some distance from the tabernacle of meeting on the east side, towards the rising of the sun. Those of the standard of the forces which Judah shall camp with Judah shall camp according to their armies. The nation, the son of Aminadab, shall be the leader. And the nation, the son of Aminadab, shall be the leader of the children of Judah. And his army was numbered as at 74,600. Those who camp next to him shall be the tribe of Issachar. And, Net and Netanel, the son of Zeroah, Zero, shall be the leader of the children of Issachar. And his army was numbered at 54,400. Then comes the tribe of Zebulun and Eliab, the son of Elon, shall be the leader, shall be the leader of the children of Zebulun. Then comes the tribe of Zebulun, and Eliab, the son of Elon, shall be the leader of the children of Zebulun. And his army was numbered at fifty-seven thousand four hundred. And all who were numbered according to their armies of the forces with Judah, one hundred and eighty-six thousand four hundred. This shall break camp first. On the south side shall be the standard of the forces with Reuben, according to the armies, and the leader of the children of Reuben shall be Eleazar, the son of Shedor, and his army was numbered at 46,400. Those who camp next to him shall be the tribe Ib of Simeon, of Simeon, and the leader of the children of Simeon shall be Shelumiel, the son of Zuri Shaddai, and his army was numbered at 59,300. Then comes the tribe of Gad, and the leader of the children of Gad shall be Eliasah, the son of Reuel. And his army was numbered at 45,650. All who were numbered according to the armies of the forces with Reuben, 151,450. They shall be the second to break camp, and the tabernacle of meeting shall move out with the camp of the Levites. In the middle, in the middle of the campus, of the camps, as they camp, so they shall move out, everyone in his place by their standards. On the west side, the sh on the west side, shall be the standard of the forces with Ephraim according to their armies, and the leader of the children of Ephraim shall be Elishama, the son of Amiud, and his army was numbered as forty at 40,500. Next to him comes the tribe of Manasseh, and the leader of the children of Manasseh shall be Gamaliel, the son of Pedazor, and his army was numbered at 32,200. Then comes the tribe of Benjamin, and the leader of the children of Benjamin shall be Abidan, the son of Gideon, and his army was numbered at 35,400. All who were numbered according to their armies of the forces with Ephraim, 108,100. They shall be they shall be the third to break camp. The standard of the forces with Dan shall be on the north side, according to their armies. And the leader of the children of Dan shall be Aiza, the son of Amishadai. And his army was numbered as 62,700. Those who camp next to him shall be the tribe of Asher. And the leader of the children of Asher shall be Pagiel, the son of Okran. And his army was numbered at 41,500. Then comes the tribe of Naphtali, and the leader of the children of Naphtali shall be Aira, the son of Elan, and his army was numbered at 53,400. All who were numbered of the forces with Dan, 157,600. They shall break camp last with their standards. These are the ones who were numbered of the children of Israel by their father's house. All who were numbered according to their armies of the forces were 603,550. But the Levites were not numbered among the children of Israel, just as the Lord commanded Moses. Thus the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded them. So they camped by their standards, 
And so they broke camp, each one by his family, according to their father's house. Chapter 3, the last, the last chapter. The sons of Aaron. Now these are the records of Aaron and Moses when the Lord spoke with Moses on Mount Sinai. And these are the names of the sons of Aaron. Nadab the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Itamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the appointed priests, whom he consecrated to minister as priests. Nadab and Abihu had died before the Lord when they. <laughs> why? Can somebody tell me why I am laughing? They offered profane. <laughs> God. They offered. God forgive me. They offered profane fire before the Lord. When the Lord did ask him to. to <sighs> Nadav and Abihu had died before the Lord. When they. When they offered profane fire before the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children, so Eleazar and Ethan ministered as priests in the presence of Aaron, their father. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Bring the, bring the tribe of Levi near, and present them before Aaron the priest, that they may serve him, and they shall attend to his needs, and the needs of the whole congregation before the tabernacle of meeting, to do the work of the tabernacle. Also, they shall attend to all the furnishing of the tabernacle of meeting and to the needs of the children of Israel to do the work of the tabernacle. And you shall give the Levites to Aaron and his sons. They are given entirely to him from among the children of Israel. So you shall appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall attend to, the, to their priesthood. But the outsider who comes near shall be put to death. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Now build. I myself have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel instead of every firstborn who opens the womb among the children of Israel. Therefore, the Levites shall be mine, because all the, all the firstborn are mine. On the day that I struck all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I sanctified to myself all the firstborn in Israel, both man and beast. They shall be mine. I am the Lord. Then the Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Number the children of Levi by their father's house. By their families, you shall number every male from a month old and above. So Moses numbered them according to the word of the Lord, as he was commanded. These were the sons of Levi by name. Hmm. No, start it. Gershon, Kohat, and Merai. And these are the names of the sons of Gershon by their, fa by their families. Libni and Shimei. And the sons of Kohat by their families. Amram, Isaiah, Hebron, and Uziel. And the sons of Merari by their father. Now it sounds like. <laughs> now that sounds like Ferrari. Fuck. Ooh. And the sons of. No, I can't say this anymore. Stop, stop. And the sons of. And the sons of Merari by their families, Mali and Moshe. These are the families of the Levites by their father's house, by their father's houses. From Gershon came the family of the Libnites and the family of the Shemites. These were the families of the Gershonites. These, those who were numbered according to the number of all the males from a month old and above. Of those who were numbered, there were 7,500. The families of the Gershonites we had to camp behind the tabernacle westward, and the leader of the father's house of the Geshonite was Eliasa, the son of Eliah. The duty is of the children of Geshon in the tabernacle of meeting, including the tabernacle, the tent with its covering, the screen for the door of the tabernacle of meeting, the screen for the door of the court, the angles of the court which are around the tabernacle, and the altar and their courts, according to all the work relating to them. From court came the family of the Amramite. The family of the Iz Izarite, the family of the Abranite, and the family of the Uzielite. These were the families of the Kohatite, 
according to the number of all the males from a month old and above. They were 8,600. They were 8,600, keeping charge of the sanctuary. The families of the children of Kohat were to camp on the south side of the tabernacle, and the leader of the, of the father's house of the families of the Kohatites was Eli, Eli Zavan, the son of Uzel. Their duty included the ark, the table, the lampstand, the altar, the utensils of the sanctuary with which they ministered, the screen, and all the work relating to them. And Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, was to be chief over the leaders of the Levites, with oversight of those who kept charge of the sanctuary. From Merari came the family of the Maalite and the family of the Mushite. These were the families of Merari, and those who were numbered according to the number of all the males from a month old and above were 6,000. We are 6,200. The leader of the father's house of the families of Merari was Zuriel, the son of Abiai. These were to camp on the, on the north side of the tabernacle, and the appointed duty of the children of Merari included the boards of the tabernacle, its bars, its pillars, its sockets, its utensils, all the work relating to them, and the pillars of the courts all around, with their sockets, their pegs, and their cords. Moreover, those who were to camp before the tabernacle on the east, before the tabernacle of meeting, were Moses, Aaron, and his sons, keeping charge of the sanctuary to meet the needs of the children of Israel. But the outsider who came near was to be put to death. All who were numbered of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron numbered at the commandment of the Lord by their families, all the males from a month old and above were 22,000. Then the Lord said to Moses, Number all the firstborn males. Of the children of Israel from a month old and above, and take the number of their names, and you shall take the Levites for me. I am the Lord. Instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel and the livestock of the Levites, instead of all the firstborn among the livestock of the children of Israel, so Moses numbered all the firstborn among the children of Israel as the Lord commanded him, and all the firstborn males according to the number of the names from a month old and above. Of those who were numbered of them, we are twenty-two thousand two hundred and seventy-three. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the livestock of the Levites instead of their livestock. The Levites shall be mine, I am the Lord. And for the redemption of the 273,000 of the firstborn of the children of Israel, who are more than the number of the Levites, you shall take five shekels for each one individually. You shall take them in the currency of the shekel of the sanctuary, the shekel of twenty geras. And you shall give the money with which the excess number of them is redeemed to Aaron and his sons. So Moses took the redemption money from those who were over and above those who were redeemed by the Levites. From the firstborn of the children of Israel, he took the money, 1,365 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. And Moses gave their redemption money to Aaron and his sons, according to the word of the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. I've come to the end of Sunday's reading. And please, all of you are going to church. I know you are saying this in the morning before you go to church. If you are saying it, and you might be saying it some day after, or maybe, maybe two months after, one month after, two years after, a year after, three years after, eternity after. Okay, for those who will be seeing it soon, pray for me. Just pray for me that the Lord will stand by me. That I, that I will not go out of His way. In the name of Jesus, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, subscribe, please, eh? Please now subscribe. Thank you. Yeah. On you. Turn on the notification so that you go notified when I post another one on Sunday. And by God's grace, if Christ tires, we are going to see the end of this 238 days together. And on the 238 days, I don't think it's five chapters I will be reading. I think I'll be reading less than that. Ah, I'm not quite get the calculation right. But I know on the last day I'll be reading less than five chapters. 
Now what is important is that I should finish the pipe and I'm going to finish it. We are going to finish the pipe together. So, bless God. Thank you for staying to the end. Bye. See you in the next one.